to my channel. Today we got a tear down and clean of this Microsoft um, mobile mouse 1850. There's always a thought in my mind why Microsoft, when they name their product, there must be four numbers behind. So for in Singapore context, right, we have the 4D, four digits, lottery. So maybe someone who has seen this video, if struck lottery first prize 1850 this week, do uh, give us a like. For this mouse, it runs on a single AA battery, a small dongle. After installing it onto your computer, right, it sticks out 8mm. So for nowadays, it's quite standard to have a compartment to keep uh, the dongle. So all this is a uh, not sponsored video. Okay, I did some measurements on this mouse. The tip of the mouse to the base of it is 11mm. So for me, um, my wrist is uh, from the middle finger right to the base of the uh, palm. Right, it's 18cm. So um, when holding it, right, the palm actually sit nicely on the table. So let's move on to the uh, dismantle of this uh, mouse. First of all, on the left and right click, you need to pry it out a bit. Then using the plastic tool to shift and uh, slowly pry on both sides to remove uh, the top shell. So it's being held up by four clips. Um, so those who are uh, first timers, please be very very careful because these plastic clips are very very small. So it tend to break or, or get bent. So when it get bent, so right, you can uh, slowly push it back a bit and add some. Um, so called super glue to uh, strengthen the, the weakened uh, joint. Up next, we have a 3T7 top screw uh, to remove before we can access the inside of it. The point of making this video um, on the website it states that this is selling at $19.90 Singapore dollars. Uh, but I got this a uh, use at the marketplace, of course, because this is tear down and clean. I got it for around five dollars. And for this product, right, I guess it's targeted at the uh, budget conscious, and uh, because of the colors they come in, the stylish individual. And uh, this is um, for uh, normal usage. Let's say if you are surfing, uh, applying some email, this will be good, but not for productivity for power users. Because function wise there's only a left right center click and the screw wheel so it would be very very nice if there is a forward backward button left right screw but of course there's another product that is targeting at this segment so we have a first glimpse of the inside so be very very careful when you are removing this uh, screw wheel because it has been noted and it's a very very common uh, problem because the, the part where it's attached to the sensor right, is really thin plastic so any chances you put it in your backpack and you uh, add some pressure on the screw wheel it will break so there's some modification uh, can be done I have made it in my first video if you'd like to fix your own you can go back to my first video and uh, check it out so on the board there's a few uh, Phillips screws you need to remove it first then the whole box comes up so from here right removing the screw wheel will be much easier so uh, the parts are quite standard Phillips screw for the, on the board and the Torx screw for the outside case so you don't need to do any uh, so called logistic to keep track where the screw go to for this video I'm using the Lenovo singing mic that I hijacked from the wire so uh, guys if you have some comments about this mic, uh, do let me know. But I have another new mic coming up, which is the uh, ATH2100X from Audio Technica. So stay tuned for the um, commentary upgrades. So back to the uh, PCB board, right? We have some uh, fairly standard parts of it here the prism, the IC the sensors so uh, it is a basic uh, mouse and uh, with some use you'll find some dirt inside there because um, the mouses are not a handphone there's IP rating waterproof so with the screw wheel right that's the point of entry where some dirt will go away so um, for the 
switches is this Caliph uh, switches are quite standard for a basic mouse but however uh, if yours is uh, uh, over click uh, past its lifespan it's quite easy for you to find some replacement and if you are more hands-on with the correct tool you'll be able to desolder and solder new ones Next, we'll be moving on to cleaning of the exterior and interior the PC board. Next, we'll move on to assemble the mouse. First of all, to put at the prism, it goes in only one way. So if it doesn't go in, then it's the wrong way. So here, one tip to assemble the uh, board, right? Uh, Microsoft, they have did this uh, basket more uh, so that the battery lead has somewhere to sit in. So you need to, uh, it's a very, very slim line. So you need to make sure the front and the back of the lid uh, sits in it and uh, you will be able to push it in pointed with uh, a screwdriver Moving on, we'll be applying some silicone grease onto the scroll wheel to so make sure that uh, it scrolls uh, smoothly I hope that this second version of the video would help a bit more because I feel that the first video that I've made was in the earlier part and it's not as structured uh, and the points are not so properly being uh, communicated so I hope that people who have used this uh, enjoy and uh, have you save some money if you manage to uh, fix your own mouse We stopped cleaning the scroll wheel just now, so we'll just give it a quick wipe. Uh, it isn't really dirty to, to start with. And again, dear fans, if you have stayed until this part of the video, uh, YouTube Analytics told me that 99% have yet subscribed to my channel. If you have liked it, do subscribe. Uh, click on the like button to get, show some support uh, so that more videos will keep coming your way The addition of a silicone grease helped quite significantly because on the later part or the newer uh, videos uh, regarding this tether and clean 
I feel that the overall scrolling is smoother uh, and more fluid. The feel of this grease is more like a semi-melted butter texture. So it still uh, coagulates as a gel but it's not dripping. So I guess a good amount uh, would help if you are wondering how much to uh, apply. So after the applying, we give it a few spin, make sure that every part is covered with uh, a grease. Then we should be able to proceed with casing up the mouse. So do remember the screws for the board is the Philips style, the cross style one. A couple of them. So putting on the top shell, just uh, make sure that everything is flush between the two pieces of plastic. The screwing is okay. But however, for this case, right, we need to add on the, the top, the utmost top piece before we can try clicking the uh, left right button. So putting one battery, we see red light flashing, so it should be good. Then we will be able, uh, in this case, we'll have to fasten all three uh, top screw and uh, do the testing. So my advice for installing the utmost, uh, topmost piece, right? We start from the bottom, engaging the two clips first, the center two clips. Then you need to fold this uh, uh, left and right click a bit for it to sit into its notch. So we have come to the end of the video. Thumbs up if you have liked it. Signing off. This is Restore Refurb Works. See you in the next one. Thank you.